हेलो टू ऑल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक दैट इज टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस इन दिस टॉपिक एक्चुअली इन द टुडे सेशन व्हाट आर द थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड वेरी गुड डे टू यू ऑल होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड ऑल द टॉपिक्स व्हिच वी वर डिस्कसिंग अर्लियर बिकॉज वॉट एवर टॉपिक्स वी डिस्कस अर्लियर इट विल बी यूजफुल टू यू इन द टॉपिक दैट इज टाइम एंड डिस्टेंस वॉट आर दोज प्रीवियस टॉपिक्स विच विल बी यूजफुल विल डिस्कस दैट सो इन टू डेज सेशन एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग कॉल्ड एज एवरेज स्पीड एज वेल एज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज रिलेटिव स्पीड देन विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक those topics which are also based on time and distance the topic like boats and streams the topic like problems on trains and will all we on all these topics will discuss some questions question eyes so moving to the topic directly time and distance in time and distance the very basic formula the very basic formula that is distance is equal to speed into time distance is always equal to speed into time and speed is equal to distance by time and time is equal to distance by speed these basic formula it will be useful to you in each and every questions so you should be well versed with this three formulas and let me tell you if you are confused with that how to use this formula how this formula has come uh, sometimes i get confused that distance should be speed by time or time into speed i am getting this confused so my dear friend don't worry very simple if i ask you the speed of the vehicle moving any vehicle when i ask the speed you say some unit over there some numbers and then the unit like if i say the bike is moving at what speed you call it as 60 km per hour just concentrate here 60 km per hour km per hour so when i am asking speed you are saying the unit as km per hour km is actually the distance and hour is actually the time so you only said that speed is equal to distance by time so once you got this formula speed is distance by time this time if you bring the side speed into time is the distance and here time if you send the speed if you send the side distance by speed will be equal to time so these formulas moving further in this time and distance we are going to discuss something called as average speed then we'll even discuss something called as relative speed but before going for all those average speed relative speed and questions on this let me tell you in every competitive exam the question what they provide they won't give you very easy question but just for example for example let's say a very simple question they have given that is distance is equal to somewhere around 400 meter and speed they gave somewhere around 40 km per hour and they asked you what will be the time taken so we know that time taken is distance by speed so we wrote directly that time taken will be 400 meter divided by 40 km per hour and we cancel this and we got 10 but my dear friend if you concentrate here what is the unit of 10 it will become the 10 unit will become meter per km per hour have you ever seen the unit of time as meter per km per hour no unit of time either it should be in hours or else in minutes or else in seconds it means before using any formula first you have to make the unit similar either convert this value into kilometer 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 get cancel your answer comes in hours or else kilometer per hour you convert into meter per second meter meter get cancel your answer will come in seconds like for example if this you want to convert into kilometer 1 kilometer means how many meters 1000 meter so divide this by 1000 it will convert into kilometer 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 will get cancel then your answer will come in hours if you want to convert this kilometer per hour if you want to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second then very simple you have to multiply 5 by 18 why 5 by 18 is it some universal truth no 1 kilometer means how many meters 1000 meters 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters and 1 hour is how many second 
वन आवर सिक्सटी मिनट्स एवरी मिनट सिक्सटी सेकेंड सो सिक्सटी इंटू सिक्सटी दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सेकेंड सी किलोमीटर पर आवर आई कन्वर्टेड इंटू मीटर पर सेकेंड इफ यू कैंसिल दिस यू विल बी गेटिंग फाइव बाई एटीन दैट इज द रीजन वी मल्टीप्लाई फाइव बाई एटीन सेम वे मीटर पर सेकेंड इफ यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन टू किलोमीटर पर आवर यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई एटीन बाई फाइव बट डोंट डू रिवर्स मीन्स यूर मल्टीप्लाइंग एटीन बाई फाइव यूर मल्टीप्लाइंग फाइव बाई एटीन डोंट डू दैट you know the reason why you are multiplying so don't get confused now moving to the part that is average speed first what is average speed is average always sum of observation by number of observation like for example is it so if you see average speed and relative speed average speed is not equal to sum of observation by number of observation this part should be very clear to you we have discussed this in the average topic and what is relative speed we'll discuss the question so that it will be more clear what is average speed and the relative speed relative speed also we have discussed in the previous topic in the clocks two objects moving in the opposite direction what will be the relative speed plus or minus i said you the reason also over there so we have to go for opposite direction plus why we add i said you the reason when we were discussing the clocks topic two objects moving in the same direction what will be the relative speed we have to subtract so opposite direction we have to add same direction we have to subtract to find the relative speed of the two object this also we have why we are adding why we are subtracting we have already discussed in the previous topic that is clocks moving further first average speed like for example here you can see the question if a person goes from point a to point b at 20 km per hour then point b to point a means again reverse at 30 km per hour then what would be the average speed of his journey so what would be the average speed of his journey my dear friends what would be the average speed of his journey let me tell you here you cannot go for 20 plus 30 by 2 50 by 2 25 km per hour you cannot go for that 25 km per hour is a wrong answer here the answer will come as 24 km per hour how this answer is it that why not sum of observation by number of observation so let us understand how we got that 24 instead of 25 A person is going from point A to point B. The distance between A and B is not known. Some distance it will be. So when some distance a person is covering with twenty kilometer per hour, he'll take some time. So let us take one rough timing. I am saying just a rough timing to make you understand here. Then I'll tell you how the formula, how the shortcut, everything. Let us say some rough timing. You are going from point A to point B with the speed of twenty kilometer per hour, and you are covering this distance in some ten minutes. Let's say you are covering this distance in ten minutes while going. Again, I said from B you have to come back to A, with but the speed should be thirty kilometer per hour. So whether you will take same ten minutes time, more than ten minutes, or less than ten minutes, obviously less than ten minutes. Why? Because speed is more. so you will take less time let's say one random timing rough timing somewhere around 7 minutes you are back how much time you have taken to cover this journey while going you took 10 minutes while coming you took 7 minutes overall how much time you took you took 17 minutes time while going you were following 20 km per hour speed while coming you were following 30 km per hour speed overall you took 17 minutes time to cover this distance up and down this total distance my dear friend once again you should go from point a to point b again from point b you should come back to point a and you should take same 17 minutes time but the condition is that whatever speed you will follow for going same speed you should follow for coming that common speed which you'll use for the whole journey will be called as average speed for this two my dear friend when you are using different different speed how much time you are taking same time you should take now also but this time you have to cover the complete journey with one common speed that common speed will be called as average speed so anyhow these are all rough timing so let us take some exact distance so that we can get some exact timing let us see take some exact distance let's say the point a and b are somewhere around x kilometer apart the distance between a and b is some x kilometer so while going how much time we will take a to b how much time will take time taken already we have discussed it is distance by speed 
so for going how much time it will take x kilometer covered in 20 speed this much time will take for coming back same x kilometer covered in 30 speed distance by speed this much time to come back if i write plus here this is the total time taken for this journey now in second case i have to take the same time but this time what i have to do i have to go x and i should come back x means x plus x 2x i have to cover and this complete 2x i have to cover with one common speed that common speed will be called as average speed again i am writing distance by speed means what i am writing i am writing time taken this time taken and this time taken should be equal whatever speed value you will get here will be called as average speed let us sort it out 20 30 lcm 60 23 za so this becomes 3x 32 za so this becomes 2x 3x plus 2x that is 5x is equal to 2x by average speed xx get cancelled 5 ones 5 twelves so what is average speed average speed is equal to 12 into 2 that is 24 kilometer per hour this is the answer not 25 it will be 24 kilometer per hour not the sum of observation by number of observation as i said you in average topic average is not always sum of observation by number of observation arithmetic mean is always sum of observation by number of observation i said you the difference over there this is clear to you now what is the average speed formula the formula of average speed is average speed is always equal to total distance covered by total time taken average speed is always equal to total distance covered by total time taken do you think i am using this formula here yes i am using this formula same formula if i bring this total time this side and average speed that side what this formula can be written as total time taken is equal to total distance covered by average speed this is what i have written here total time taken is equal to total distance covered by average speed why i am writing like this so that you can understand the meaning of average speed average speed means time taken should be distributed equally not the speed after distributing the time equally what speed is followed that is called as average speed clear no doubt for average speed there is a shortcut shortcut means once again condition apply it cannot be used everywhere shortcut for average speed is 2xy by x plus y first of all let us understand what is the limitation for the shortcut where we can use it can be used only when two speeds are given to you and both the speed are covering equal distances consider two speeds are given to you but they are not covering my dear friend equal distances then this shortcut won't be valid this shortcut is valid only when two speeds are given to you and both the speeds are covering equal distances consider three speeds are given to you and all the three speed are covering equal equal distance again you can use one more shortcut that is 3xyz by xy plus yz plus zx shall i say for four speed no my dear friend very understanding here here in this question this shortcut will be valid but not everywhere but this concept will be valid everywhere in this question the shortcut is valid because a to b the distance b to a the same distance so i can use the shortcut directly 2 into what is x y the 2 speed that is 20 into 30 by 20 plus 30 that is 50 0 0 cancel 5 1s are 5 4s are 4 3s are 12 2s are you will get 24 kilometer per hour but shortcut is valid only when equal distances are covered if equal distances are not covered this shortcut won't be valid but concept is valid everywhere concept should be clear to you let us see one more question a man travels from delhi to chandigarh one third of journey he covers at 60 km per hour and remaining at 40 km per hour find the average speed of his journey my dear friend here you cannot use 2xy by x plus y no doubt here two speeds are given to you but both the speed are not covering equal distance one third then remaining remaining will be more double of this one third we cannot use that shortcut here now how to sort out with concept you can sort it out a man is going from delhi to chandigarh delhi i am mentioning as d chandigarh i am mentioning as c 
Delhi to Chandigarh. While going one third of the journey, he covers at some speed that is 60 km per hour. Now, Delhi to Chandigarh, this distance you can consider as some x kilometer. You can consider this total distance as some x kilometer or else you can even consider this total distance as some 3x kilometer. Why shall I consider it as 3x kilometer? Because division is given like that. Even if you consider x, you will get the same answer. No need to worry. Consider if I say total distance is some 3x kilometer. First, he was covering one third of 3x. One third of 3x means x distance, x kilometer distance. With what speed? That is 60 speed. Then the remaining. Now, how much remaining distance will be? 2x. With what speed? 40 speed. So, time taken to cover first one third. As I said you, time taken is always distance by speed. So, time taken to cover first one third, x distance covered in 60 speed. This is the time taken. Time taken to cover the remaining, that is 2x distance with 40 speed. If I write plus here, this is the total time he is taking. Same time he should take in second case. But second case, he has to cover the complete journey, that is Delhi to Chandigarh with one common speed. That common speed will be called as average speed. Means complete distance Delhi to Chandigarh, it is 3x distance he has to cover with one common speed. That will be called as average speed. Again, I am writing distance by speed means time taken. This time taken and this time taken both will be equal. Here, whatever speed value will come will be called as average speed. Let us sort it out. 60, 40 LCM. It's 120. 60 twos are, so this becomes 2x. This becomes 2x plus 40 threes are, so this becomes 3 twos are 6x is equal to 3x by average speed. Moving further, 2x plus 6x, that is 8x by 120 is equal to 3x by average speed. Now further, 8 ones, 8 how much? 8 fifteens. Am I right? So, what is average speed? Average speed is equal to 15 into 3, that is 45 km per hour. This is the answer. Here, don't do use this 2xy by x plus y. Don't even add and divide it by 2. Don't do that 60 plus 40 by 2. The answer here, average speed will be 45 km per hour. Average speed is always equal to total distance covered by total time taken. So, average speed concept is clear because, my dear friend, average speed thrice they asked in the gate exam. So, it is very important to you. You should be very clear with average speed concept. Moving further. Now, a man travels one fourth of his journey at 20 km per hour, another one fourth at 30 km per hour and remaining at 60 km per hour. Find the average speed of his journey. So, here you can pause the video, you can try the answer. If concept is clear, you can just mention the answer in the comment. Let us see. A man covers some distance, some journey he covers. Some distance he covers, we don't know what is the total distance he is covering. We can consider this total distance as some x kilometer or else you can even consider this total distance as 4x kilometer. Why 4x? One fourth they have given that is the reason. One fourth, one word division is given like that. So, if you consider total distance as 4x, first he was covering one fourth of 4x. One fourth of 4x means x with what speed? 20 speed. Another one fourth, don't think that one fourth of remaining. They have clearly mentioned another one fourth means one more x with what speed? 30 speed. Then the remaining, now how much is remaining out of 4x, 2x is done. So, remaining 2x will be there with what speed? 60 speed. So, time taken to cover first one fourth, that is x by 20, distance by speed time taken. Time taken to cover another one fourth, that is x by 30. Time taken to cover the remaining, that is 2x by 60. If I write plus here, this is the total time he is taking. Same time he should take in second case. But second case, he has to cover the complete journey that is 4x with one common speed. That common speed will be called as average speed. Again, I am writing distance by speed means I am writing time taken. This time taken and this time taken both are equal. Here, whatever speed value will come will be called as average speed. Let us sort it out. 20, 30 LCM and 60. 20, 30 and 60 LCM becomes 60. So, 20 threes, this becomes 3x. 32s, so this becomes 2x. 3x plus 2x, 5x. 
5 and 61. So, this will remain as 2x only. 5x plus 2x that is 7x is equal to 4x by average speed. xx get cancelled. So, what is left over? Average speed will be equal to 60 into 4 that is 240 divided by 7 which is equal to 34.28 km per hour or else you can even call it as 34 2 by 7 km per hour. This is the answer. So, hope you have understood this average speed concept clearly, but practice more number of questions on this average speed. No doubt here, you can use the shortcut. Here, the shortcut will be valid. How? If you consider only up till here, if you consider starting to here, you are having two speed and both the speed are covering equal distance, xx. So, shortcut will be valid, 2xy by x plus y. So, here, 2 into, what is first speed? 20 into what is another speed 30 by x plus y 20 plus 30 that is 50 0 0 cancel 5 1s 5 4 4 3 is a 12 2 is a you will get 24 kilometer per hour now this 24 kilometer per hour is up till where up till here and this distance and this distance is also same this is also 2x this is also 2x for this you have 24 average speed there also 60 so, again shortcut is valid that is 2 into 24 into 60 by 24 plus 60 that is 84. If you cancel this, you will be getting the same value that is 240 by 7 which is equal to 34.28 kilometer per hour or else 34 2 by 7 kilometer per hour. But shortcut is valid only when equal distances are covered. If equal distances are not covered, shortcut is not at all valid. So, be careful regarding that. Moving further, average speed is clear. Now, let's see some question on relative speed. The relative speed, as I said you, two objects moving in the opposite direction, we should add the speed. Same direction, we should subtract the speed. Like for example, here you can see, the question goes like, a police observes a thief 800 meters away from him. The thief started running at 10 km per hour. And the police chased him at 100 km per hour in how much time the police can catch the thief. Here we go normally, this is the police and this is the thief. And here it is total distance between them is 800 meter. Both started running in the same direction here, here. And he, after reaching here, here he was caught. First we find how much the thief covered and how in the same time. The time in which, let's say if this is x kilometer distance or x meter, the time in which police cover 800 plus x, in that time thief covered only x. Time taken equally, sorting out, that process is also correct. But why not to use the relative speed directly? Relative speed here says, both are going in the same direction. What is relative speed actually? Making one object constant stopping, stationary and moving other object with relation to other that is called as relative speed. So, both are moving in the same direction. So, relative speed we have to subtract it. First of all, see the distance given here that is 800 meters. Now, what will be the relative speed? Both are going in the same direction. So, relative speed we have to subtract. One is moving at 10 km per hour, police moving at 100 km per hour. Difference? Subtract it, how much you are getting? 90 km per hour. So, time taken is distance by speed. But be careful. As I said you, before using any formula, make the unit similar. This is given in meter. Convert this in kilometer. Kilo then, use the formula. Kilometer, kilometer get cancelled. Your answer will come in hours. Or else, this kilometer per hour, let us convert into meter per second by multiplying 5 by 18. If you multiply 5 by 18, it will convert into meter per second. So, multiplying 5 by 18, 18 ones, 18 fives. So, this will become somewhere around 25 meter per second. My dear friend, you are having distance, you are having speed. Time taken is always distance by speed. So, 800 meter covered with the speed of 25 meter per second. 25 ones, 25 3s are 75 and then 50, 25, 2s are. So, meter, meter get cancelled. Your answer come in seconds. That is 32 seconds. In 32 seconds, the police can catch the thief. So, by what we have to convert, whether this we have to convert or this we have to convert, this totally depends on the options given to you. If options are given in seconds, 
convert this in meter per second if options are given in hours then convert this in kilometer so that kilometer kilometer get cancelled your answer come in hours so that three basic formula will be useful to you for the average speed and then the relative speed is there anything else which is required let's see here they have given an employee goes to his office from his house at a speed of 60 km per hour and reaches his office 10 minutes late when he is following the speed of 60 km per hour he is reaching his office 10 minutes late if he follows the speed of 80 km per hour he increases the speed if he increases his speed and move with the speed of 80 km per hour he reaches his office 5 minutes early find the distance he covers to reach his office so what is the distance he is covering from his house to office how much distance it is maximum people here what they do they use the formula distance is equal to speed into time if s is the correct speed t is the correct time d distance he will be covering so instead of s speed he started following what speed that is 60 km per hour speed in that case what is happening he is reaching his office 10 minutes late means in normal time he takes extra 10 minutes normal time plus 10 speed into time distance covered now when he is following 80 km per hour speed in that case what is happening he is reaching 5 minutes early means in normal time he takes 5 minutes less speed into time distance covered this is and this distance both are same distance so both are equal they sort this equation out if you sort this equation out you will get the value of which variable t t means you will get the time once you get the t value again place that t value here this complete will be the distance even if you place that t value here this complete will be the same distance you will get but my dear friend be careful 60 unit is what kilometer per hour 10 unit is what minutes convert that into hours this will become 10 by 60 and this will become 5 by 60 convert that similar unit you should be you should be using now if you sort this equation out if i am not wrong t value you will be getting somewhere around 5 by 6 t value you will be getting 5 by 6 once you get t value place that t value here 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6 because 0 0 get cancelled 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6 becomes 6 by 6 6 by 6 means 1 1 into 60 that is 60 kilometer even if you that place that t value here you will get the same distance but be careful if you are not writing by 60 by 60 you will be getting here t value as 50 50 means what 50 minutes converting that into us 50 by 60 that is 5 by 6 again either of the way but this is actually somewhat lengthy process process is correct but somewhat lengthy it is first finding t value again placing the t value then finding the distance value my dear friend why not directly to find out the distance directly the distance how let us understand in one case he is reaching 10 minutes late. let's say his office timing was somewhere around 9 am was his office timing this is the correct time 9 am he should reach to his office this is the correct time to enter the office because he is following 60 km per hour speed 60 kmph he is reaching 10 minutes late 10 minutes late means what timing he will be reaching he will be reaching by 9 10 and again when he followed 80 km per hour speed 80 kmph he is reaching 5 minutes early 5 minutes early means instead of 9 he is reaching at 855 what is the gap between these two timing how much gap is there between the two timings it is 15 minutes gap so the two timing what he is taking in bit in between them it is a 15 minutes gap that's it we know time taken is what distance by speed so let's say some x kilometer distance is covering x kilometer first is covering with 60 speed this is the time he is taking again same x kilometer covering with 80 speed this is the time he is taking difference between these two timing we are getting how much 15 minutes but 15 minutes we have to convert into hours why because these two are given in kilometer per hour so 15 by 60 my dear friend i am saying difference not minus directly because before writing minus you have to check x by 60 is more and x by 8 is more so my dear friend x by 60 this fraction is more now you can write it as x by 60 minus x by 80 greater timing minus smaller timing be careful regarding that 60 80 lcm how much it becomes 240 64 so this is 4x 
83 is 3x. 4x minus 3x, that is x is equal to, in right hand side, it is 1 by 4. So, 4 ones, 4 60s. So, x value will come directly 60. Here, we are getting directly the distance value. In this case, this is also correct. But in this case, first we are finding time value, placing the time value, then we are finding the distance value. In this, directly we are getting the distance. Let us see one more question. A boy goes to his school with the speed of 40 km per hour and reaches his school 10 minutes early. If he follows the speed of 30 km per hour, he reaches his school 10 minutes late. Find the distance he covers to reach his school. Same question, similar question, only the values are changed. So, let us say, in one case, he is 10 minutes early. In another case, he is 10 minutes late. 10 minutes early to 10 minutes late. How many minutes gap it is? 20 minutes gap it is. 10 minutes early to 10 minutes late. It is total 20 minutes gap. X distance he was covering first with what speed? 40 speed. Again, same X distance he is covering next with what speed? 30 speed. Difference between this two timing, we will be getting 20 minutes, 20 minutes converting into hours 20 by 60. Is it clear? My dear friend, let me tell you, no, this is not clear. I said you before writing minus, you have to check it out, which is greater, x by 40 or x by 30. My dear friend, x by 30 is greater, so greater timing minus smaller timing. That is, x by 30 minus x by 40 should be equal to 20 by 60. 30, 40 LCM, it is 120. 30, 4 za, so this becomes 4x. 43 za, 3x. 4x minus 3x, that is x is equal to in right hand side if you cancel it will be coming somewhere around 1 by 3 now 3 ones are 3 40s are so x will be equal to 40 what is x the distance so the distance here it is 40 kilometer clear so my dear friend the concept is same same basic formula but what formula to be used where it will be the formula will be more easier to get reach to the correct answer which one will make us lengthy that is what we have to understand and that totally depends on the more you practice the more you understand so practice makes man perfect that you have to be careful practice as much question as many varieties as you want now here you can see the question they have given a car driver driving at a speed of 68 km per hour locates a lorry 40 meters ahead of him 40 meters further he saw a lorry after 10 seconds the lorry is 60 meters behind him find the speed of the lorry so what is the speed of the lorry let us understand here is the car okay and here is the lorry okay how much how much away it is it is somewhere around 40 meters ahead of him 40 meters ahead of him from the car, the lorry was 40 meters ahead. But after 10 seconds, what happened? Car overtook the lorry, move further. Now the lorry becomes, now car is here. Now the lorry becomes 60 meters behind him. 60 meters behind him. This is given after 10 seconds. Now let us understand. They are asking you the speed of lorry. Now, the car is moving with the speed of 68 km per hour. Lorry is also moving with some km per hour, which we don't know. That is what we have to find. First of all, see, from 40 meters back, it moved 60 meters further. So, 40 meters, then 60 meters. So, overall distance here is 100 meters. Distance is 100 meters. From 40 back, it reached 60 further, means it is 100 meters. Now, if you see the relative speed, but first of all, let us understand in how much time it moved. How much time? 10 seconds. So, here you got 10 seconds. Now, you are having distance. You are having time. You can get the speed. What is the speed? Speed is always distance by time. So, 100 by 10, which is equal to 10 meter per second. What is 10 meter per second? Actually, this is not speed. This is actually the relative speed. This is the relative speed because both are moving. Now, Relative speed means both are going in the same direction. It means, and this is meter per second you got, and the speed of car is given to you in kilometer per hour. So, important here, let us convert this into kilometer per hour. Meter per second, if you have to convert into kilometer per hour, what you should multiply? It should be multiplied 18 by 5. So, 5 ones, 5 twos. So, 18 twos are, that is 36 kilometer per hour. This is the relative speed. 
this is the relative speed both are going in the same direction it means that speed of car minus speed of lorry is 36 km per hour speed of car already we know how much it is speed of car it is 68 minus speed of lorry let's say x is equal to 36 so what you will be getting here 68 minus x goes that side plus x and 36 come this side minus 36 68 minus 36 how much it will become 32 is equal to x 32 kilometer per hour is the speed of the lorry this is the answer 32 kilometer per hour this is the speed of the lorry car speed minus lorry speed that is the relative speed which we are getting as 36 or 10 meter per second but meter per second i have converted into kilometer per hour because car speed was given in kilometer per hour so lorry is moving with the speed of 32 kilometer per hour this is our answer so you can see the way of asking question can differ but concept everything is based on same three formulas distance is equal to speed into time speed is equal to distance by time and time is equal to distance by speed and for the two things that is average speed and relative speed and one more thing making the unit similar always now when two objects are moving when they meet like for example here what i am trying to say let's say two points are there P and Q. P and Q are two points somewhere around 600 kilometer apart from each other. 600 kilometer gap is there between point P and point Q. One bus started moving from point P, it started moving towards Q with the speed of 40 kilometer per hour. At the same time, from Q, one bus started moving towards P with the speed of 60 kilometer per hour. So, after how many hours the two buses will meet? After how many hours the two buses will meet? So, you will say here very simple sir, distance here is given as how much? Distance is given as 600 kilometer and relative speed because both are moving in the opposite direction. So, relative speed we should add 40 and 60, it is 100 kilometer per hour. We know time taken is always distance by speed. So, 600 divided by 100, we got in 6 hours, both the buses will meet. In 6 hours, both the buses will meet. Now, let us understand, in 6 hours, how much distance this object will cover, this bus will cover? Every 1 hour, it is covering 40 kilometer. Then, in 6 hours, how much it will cover? 6 fours are 24, that is 240. Means, not half, less than half. 240 it will cover and it will reach here. This bus is covering 60 km in every hour. In 6 hours, how much it will cover? 6 is 36, 360 km means more than half. 360 km it will cover and they will meet at this point. What does it mean? It means that when two objects are moving in the opposite direction towards each other, they meet only when distance covered by first object plus distance covered by second object is giving you the total distance. Two objects moving in the opposite direction towards each other, they will meet only when distance covered by first object plus distance covered by second object is giving you the total distance. So, this is what we have understood. Distance covered by first object plus distance covered by second object is giving you the total distance. It means we can say they are meeting if they are moving in the opposite direction towards each other. Now, one more point. Let's say again P and Q, same two points, same 600 kilometer apart from each other. Now, here one bus started from P moving towards Q with the speed of 40 kilometer per hour. Another bus also started from P moving towards Q with the speed of 60 km per hour. So, after how many hours these two buses will meet in this case? Some people they say, so 600 is the distance difference between them 40, 60 because same direction relative speed we have to subtract. So, 20 km per hour, 600 by 20 that is 30 hours. In 30 hours the two buses will meet. My dear friend, let me tell you that is wrong. They will never meet. Because, just understand the thing, two objects moving in the same direction started at the same time with two different speed. So, obviously, the faster object will go further, slower object will be behind. Slowly, the gap between them will go on increasing. 
they will never meet no doubt it faster object stop at the destination then slower object will go and meet that object at the destination at the destination meeting chances are there in how much time in how much time this 600 km your slower speed is 40 in how much time 600 km is covered with 40 speed in that much time but if they keep on moving they will never meet so my dear friend they will never meet then what is that 30 hours which we got the answer what was that 30 hours in 30 hours the gap between them will become 600 km in 30 hours they will not meet in 30 hours the gap between them will become 600 km you can see he clearly here that it is every one hour covering 40 so in 30 hours this object will cover how much 3 4 are 12 that is 1200 km every one hour this object is covering 60 so in 30 how much 30 hours how much it will cover that is 6 3 is 1800 km gap between them will become 600 km this is not the answer for meeting this is the answer 30 hours is the answer for making the gap between them as 600 km then in same direction what is the meeting part then in same direction if the two objects are moving in the same direction remember for meeting slower objects should start early slower objects should start early and faster object after some time so though faster object started late it can overtake the slower object if faster object started early again they will never meet to meet in the same direction when the two objects are moving in the same direction slower object should start early and faster object after some time so let us say slower object started early and faster object after some time and at this point both of object met what does it mean it means that how much distance slower object covered from starting point same distance faster object is also covering from starting point means distance covered by first object and distance covered by second object both are equal then they are meeting in opposite direction what i said distance covered by first object plus distance covered by second object gives you the total distance then they will meet in same direction what i am talking about distance covered by both the object when it is equal then they are meeting we'll see some question based on this then we'll even discuss why not directly to use the relative speed part that also we'll discuss but we'll see some question here the question goes a train starts from point a and move towards point b okay a train starts from a to b at 5 am every day with the speed of 60 km per hour another train starts from b to a see this is b to a means reverse b to a at 7 am every day with the speed of 80 km per hour if the distance between a and b is given as a 20 km then at what time the two trains will meet each other so let's see what time the two trains will meet here simple it is a to b this is point a this is point b distance between a to b is given as 820 km one train is starting from a moving towards b that is starting at morning 5 o'clock 5 am they have clearly given and moving with the speed of 60 kmph 60 km per hour 60 kmph another train is moving from b to a b to a like this that train is starting at what time that train is starting at 7 am and the speed of that train they have given as 80 km per hour that is 80 kmph and they are asking you at what time the two trains will meet time not hours here not in hours in am pm you have to say at what time they will meet let us understand two objects moving in the opposite direction towards each other they will meet only when when distance covered by first object plus distance covered by second object will give the total distance then only they will meet just now we have seen so let's say that after 5 am in some hours they will meet or after 7 am in some hours they will meet any starting time you can take let us declare i am declaring that after 5 am after 5 am in some x hours they are meeting i am de declaring this part x value i don't know but in some x hours they are meeting i am declaring this it means that 5 am train is traveling for x hours to reach that meeting point 5 am train speed is how much 60 travel for x hours so distance covered will be 60x speed into time distance covered how about the another train speed it is 80 but this train is starting at 7 o'clock 
यू आर टेकिंग एक्स वैल्यू फ्रॉम फाइव ओ क्लॉक मीन्स दिस ट्रेन इज स्टार्टिंग टू आवर्स लेट यू आर टेकिंग एक्स वैल्यू फ्रॉम फाइव ओ क्लॉक एंड दिस ट्रेन इज स्टार्टिंग एट सेवन ओ क्लॉक मीन्स दिस ट्रेन इज स्टार्टिंग टू आवर्स लेट इट मीन्स इट मस्ट हैव ट्रेवल फॉर टू आवर्स लेस इन कंपेरिजन सो एटी इन टू एक्स माइनस टू डिस्टेंस कवर बाय फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस स्पीड इन टू टाइम डिस्टेंस कवर बाय सेकेंड ऑब्जेक्ट एडिशन ऑफ दिस शुड गिव द टोटल डिस्टेंस दैट इज ए ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर लेट एस सॉर्ट इट आउट ए ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एक्स प्लस एटी एक्स माइनस वन सिक्सटी सो यू कैन से सिक्सटी एक्स प्लस एटी एक्स दैट इज वन फोर्टी एक्स इज इक्वल टू इफ यू सब्रैक दिस ए ट्वेंटी माइनस वन सिक्सटी If you go for minus hundred, it is seven twenty. Again, twenty less means it will become seven hundred. Seven hundred minus forty, it will become six. How much it is coming? No, it is not minus. It will come here. This side as plus. That side it is minus. So this side plus. So it will become nine eighty. So zero zero cancel. Fourteen ones. Fourteen. How much is ninety eight? Fourteen sevens. So x value comes seven. Seven hours. Seven hours from where? Seven hours from morning five o'clock. Morning five o'clock plus seven hours. So seven plus five, it becomes how much? That is twelve p.m. They are going to meet sharp at twelve p.m. Is it clear? You can take the starting time from seven a.m. also. No worries. But while making equation, you should be very careful. So they are going to meet sharp at twelve p.m. Seven hours from. Five o'clock. Five plus seven is twelve. They are going to meet at afternoon twelve. Now here we have done. Why don't we use the relative speed? You can use the relative speed, but if you have to use the relative speed concept, both the objects should start at the same time. So if you want to use relative speed concept, bring both the object at the same time. Either this seven o'clock train move back to five o'clock, make it two hours back, or else this five o'clock train bring to seven o'clock. either of the way let us bring this 5 o'clock train to 7 o'clock 5 to 7 means 2 hours further from point a every one hour it is covering 60 km in 2 hours how much it will cover it will cover 120 km and here it will reach now 820 gap already 120 is covered now how much distance they are having between them distance between them is 700 km now time take relative speed if you see relative speed One is eighty, another sixty, and both are going in opposite direction. So relative speed will become sixty plus eighty in opposite direction. We add that is one forty kilometer per hour. Distance by speed is the time taken. So seven hundred divided by one forty, you'll get how much? That is five hours. Five hours from where? Both the train you brought to seven a.m. So five hours from seven a.m. Seven plus five, twelve. So they are going to meet sharp at. 12 pm if you have to use the relative speed concept you have to bring both the object at the same time now why this concept in further questions you will understand but this is the thing about the opposite direction let us understand the same direction thing in this question a train start from p to q at 11 am with the speed of 110 km per hour another train also starts from p to q means same direction At 9 a.m. the same day with the speed of 90 km per hour, if the distance between P and Q is given as 1920 km, then at what time the two trains will meet each other? Now let us understand P to Q. Both the trains are going from P to Q. P to Q. Both the trains are going this like this. P to Q. First train is starting at what time? That is starting at 9 a.m. and the speed of that train they have given as 90 km per hour. 90 kmph another train also started that is starting at 11 am and the speed of that train is given as 110 km per hour and they are asking at what time they will meet be careful in the same direction i said they will meet only when slower object should start early not the faster object slower object should start early here slower is 90 it started at 9 o'clock this is faster object is starting late 11 am so meeting chances are there now in same direction i said how they will meet if distance covered by first object and distance covered by second object both are equal then they will meet so you can say after 9 am in some exas they will meet or after 11 am in some exas they will meet so let's say i am declaring that after 9 am 
in some x hours they are meeting it means that 9 am train is traveling for x hours to reach that meeting point 9 am train speed is how much 90 travel for how many hours x hours so 19 into x speed into time that is the distance covered another train speed is how much 110 but this train is starting at 11 o'clock we are taking x value from 9 o'clock means this train started 2 hours late so it will travel 2 hours less in comparison so x minus 2 Speed into time, distance covered. Distance covered by first object, distance covered by second object. Both should be equal. Then only they can meet. Same direction thing it is. Now 90x is equal to 110x minus 220. 110x minus 90x will become 20x, and this comes left hand side. It becomes positive. That is 220. Zero zero cancel. Two ones to eleven. So x value comes eleven hours. Eleven hours from where? From morning nine o'clock. If it is twelve hours. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. it will be, but it is 11 hours, so they are going to meet sharp at 8 p.m. This dance, no doubt. Here you can use the relative speed concept, but if you have to use the relative speed concept, you should bring both the object at the same time. Either this 9 o'clock train bring it to 11 o'clock, two hours further with the speed of 90, or this 11 o'clock train bring to 9 o'clock, move back with 110 speed, two hours back. Let us bring nine o'clock to eleven o'clock. Nine o'clock train. Let us bring to eleven o'clock. Nine to eleven, two hours. Every one hour covering ninety. So in two hours, it will cover one eighty kilometer, and it will reach further. Now for this train also, now the time instead of nine, it became eleven a.m. Am I right? Now this question become the same question which I gave you that police thief question. It is the same question again. That police chasing the thief. Thief was moving with ten. Police chasing at hundred. Same question it became. Here, distance between police and thief. Distance is how much? One eighty kilometer. Relative speed. Because they are going in the same direction. What will be the relative speed? We should subtract it. So ninety and one ten difference. How much you are getting? Twenty kilometer per hour. Twenty kmph. Time taken is always distance by speed. So one eighty divided by twenty. You will get nine hours. Nine hours from where? Both the train you brought to eleven o'clock. So from eleven o'clock nine hours, eleven plus nine is twenty, and in railway timetable twenty means what? Eight p.m. They are going to meet sharp at eight p.m. Now, when this is relative speed is that easy? Why I am saying this? We'll understand that. But let's see moving further this question. A train starts from Pune at six a.m. every day and reaches Bangalore eight p.m. the same day. 6 a.m. it is starting from Pune. 8 p.m. it is reaching to Bangalore. Another train starts from Bangalore at 8 a.m. every day, and that reaches Pune at 10 p.m. the same day. At what time the two trains meet? See here, they have not given you the speed. They have not given you the distance between Pune and Bangalore. Starting time, reaching time of one train. Another train starting time, reaching time, and they are asking you the meeting time. All they are playing with timing only. Now. Let me tell you this question. The very basic students who don't know about time and distance, some higher secondary students, they can do it. They do it. How how they do it? I'll tell you how they will do it. This is they say this is Pune and this is Bangalore. Okay, one train started from Pune that is six a.m. going towards Bangalore and that reaches Bangalore at eight p.m. Another train starts from Bangalore that is starting at. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. and that is coming towards Pune and that reaches Pune at 10 p.m. and they are asking you at what time these two trains meet each other. Do you know that six seven student six seven standard students how they sort this out? Very simply they understand this. They say morning six it is starting, night eight it is reaching. How many hours it is taking? 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. that is 12 hours and extra two hours, 14 hours it is taking. Morning eight o'clock it is starting. Night ten o'clock it is reaching. Means this is also taking fourteen hours. Both the trains are covering equal distance in equal gap of time. It means both the trains are running with same speed. So both the trains are covering in fourteen hours. So what those small children they do? This complete line they divide into fourteen equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They say that morning six is started here, so seven o'clock here, eight o'clock here, nine here, ten here, eleven here, twelve here, 
1 pm 2 pm 3 pm 4 pm 5 pm 6 pm 7 pm 8 pm it is reaching this started at 8 o'clock so 9 here okay this is am this is running as pm now 9 am 10 am 11 am 12 1 pm 2 pm 3 pm 4 pm 5 pm 6 pm 7 pm 8 pm 9 pm and 10 pm it is reaching just see at what time they are meeting sharp at 2 pm they are meeting this is how they sort it out but let me tell you if this type of question they have to give in gate they won't give you this 14 hours gap or 8 hours gap instead they will give you 91 hours 63 hours 84 hours gap now you cannot draw a line and 91 times 1 2 3 4 you can't do that so my dear friend there is a shortcut for this shortcut means once again condition apply let us see the condition when equal distances are covered in equal gap of time when equal distances are covered in equal gap of time it means speed of the trains are same speed of the objects are same then only you can use the shortcut so here equal distances are covered in equal gap of time speed of both the trains are same so shortcut is valid both are covering in 14 14 hours means speed is same so you can use the shortcut what is that shortcut take the starting time of one train and reaching time of another train like if you are taking starting time of this 6 am take reaching time of the another train that is 10 pm 6 am to 10 pm how many hours gap don't say me 6 plus 4 10 it is am to pm how many hours gap it is 16 hours gap 16 divided by 2 how much you'll get 8 hours morning 6 o'clock you add that 8 hours or night 10 o'clock you subtract that 8 hours both the cases you'll be getting 2 pm which is there meeting timing no you can take this also if you are taking starting time of this train that is 8 am you have to take reaching time of another train that is 8 pm 8 am to 8 pm how many hours gap 12 hours gap divide that 12 hours by 2 6 hours morning 8 o'clock you add 6 hours or night 10 8 o'clock you subtract 6 hours both the cases you will be getting 2 pm which is their meeting timing but this shortcut is valid only when equal distances are covered in equal gap of time it means speed of the trains are same but my dear friend if the speed of the trains are not same then what because speed can't be same always question can be anything so let's see the next one a train starts from station a at 5 am this is station a at 5 am every day and reaches station b at 9 am the same day this is am again 9 am the same day this is station b 5 am it is starting from station a and reaching station b at 9 am another train starts from station b at 8 am okay and reaches station a at 2 pm the same day so from that side at what time these two trains will meet now you cannot draw this line into some equal parts you can't do that because this train is starting 5 reaching 9 means just in 4 hours this train is starting at 8 and reaching at 2 means it is taking 6 hours means here you cannot even use the shortcut no drawing the line and dividing because here speed of the trains are not same then how but if an already we have discussed in previously here two objects are moving in the opposite direction towards each other they will meet only when when distance covered by first object plus distance covered by second object give you the total distance then only they will meet but here total distance is not provided to us so let's say total distance is some x kilometer and let's say this is train one and this is train two train one is covering this x kilometer in how many hours morning five it is starting morning 9 it is reaching so it is covering in 4 hours so can i say that speed of train 1 x by 4 kilometer per hour distance by time is the speed so this is the speed of train 1 similarly how about the speed of train 2 train 2 is starting at morning 8 o'clock and reaching 2 pm so 8 to 2 that is 6 hours means x kilometer covered in 6 hours distance by time that is the speed now you can say after 5 am in some hours they will meet or after 8 am in some hours they will meet let's say i am declaring that after 5 am in some y hours they are going to meet y variable i am taking because x already i have taken so in some y hours they are meeting it means that 5 am train is traveling for y hours to reach that meeting point 5 am train is train 1 train 1 speed is how much x by 4 so x by 4 is the speed travel for y hours so x by 4 into y 
speed into time this is the distance covered by first object how about the distance covered by second train second train speed is how much x by 6 but this train is starting at what time 8 am we are taking the value from 5 am means this train is starting 3 hours late 5 to 8 3 hours late so it will travel for 3 hours less so y minus 3 speed into time distance covered distance covered by first object distance covered by second object addition of this should give the total distance that is x kilometer sort it out x left hand side x if you take common what is left over y by 4 plus here y minus 3 by 6 okay this x if you take common and that you send it right hand side so x by x x get cancelled equal to 1 you will get the y value let us sort it out for y value 6 and 4 LCM, it is 12. Let us send that 12 right hand side. So, it will become is equal to 12. The LCM I am sending right hand side. 4, 3 is 12. So, this becomes 3y. 6, 2 is 12. So, this becomes 2y minus 6. 3, 2 is 6. 3y plus 2y, that is 5y. Minus 6, if you send that side, it will be plus 6. 12 plus 6, that is 18. So, what is y value? It is 18 by 5, which is equal to 3. 5 3 is a 15. 3 3 by 5 hours. 3 3 by 5 hours from where? From morning 5 o'clock. So, morning 5 o'clock if you add 3 hours. Morning 5 o'clock if you add only 3 hours. Only 3 hours. 5 plus 3 is 8. But only by adding 3 hours we are getting 8. We still have 3 by 5 hours. So, this 3 by 5 hours convert into minutes by multiplying 60. 5 ones, 5 twelves. So, 12 threes are 36. Means they are going to meet sharp at 8.36 a.m. 8.36 minutes. 8.36 a.m. This is the answer. So, my dear friend, the way of asking question can differ, but the concept is same. If you understood the concept, any way of question, you can sort it out. Here you can see the relative speed we are not using. That is the reason this concept I said that two objects moving in the opposite direction, they will meet only when, when distance caught by first object plus distance caught by second object give you the total distance. And in same direction, they will meet only when distance caught by first object, distance caught by second object, both are equal. Now, this was we were talking about time and distance, but there are some topic which are attached to time and distance, like topic like here you can see problems on trains. Now, you will ask me, sir, what is this new thing, problems on trains? Up till now, whatever question we have seen, that was on trains only. Trains were only moving. No, problems on trains, something different we have. Everything is same. Same average speed, same relative speed, the formulas, everything is same. But here, what happens? Let us understand problems on trains, how separately I have given it. It's a time and distance part only. Consider there is a train which is trying to cross a signal pole or a standing man completely means train engine has reached there the complete train should come out from there means what the train is trying to do train is trying to cross its own length from that point am i right so here distance will be length of the train itself when train is trying to cross a signal pole or a standing man completely means distance will be length of the train divided by the speed of the train you will get in how much time it will cross a standing man or signal pole completely. But be careful. Speed of the train will be given to you in kilometer per hour and the distance what you are taking length of the train that will be given to you in meters. Before using the formula, make the unit similar. Maximum, convert that kilometer per hour the speed of the train in meter per second because maximum the options are given in seconds. Now, when a train is trying to cross a platform or a bridge or a tunnel completely, means train should come out here, should come out here. Then in that case, what we do? Distance we take length of train plus length of platform. Because my dear friend, if you take only length of the train, the train will come parallel to the platform. It should come out from the platform means length of the train plus length of the platform. If it is bridge, you can say length of the train plus length of the bridge. If it is tunnel, you can say length of the train plus length of the tunnel divided by the speed of the train. You will get in how much time it will cross a platform, bridge or tunnel completely. But be careful here again, 
the distance what you are taking length of train plus length of platform that will be in meters and speed of the train will be given to you in kilometer per hour so you have to make the unit similar before using the formula now let us understand one more thing one train is trying to cross another stationary train stationary train is same like platform stationary means standing train it's same like platform distance will be length of train 1 plus length of train 2 now if a train is trying to cross another moving train in the same direction here no doubt distance will be length of train 1 plus length of train 2 but what will be the relative speed same direction the relative speed we have to subtract it subtract both the train speed train is trying to cross another train in the opposite direction here distance will be length of train 1 plus length of train 2 but here relative speed will be sum of both the train speed because in opposite direction we add same direction we subtract you can see here relative speed here we are having difference here we are having sum same direction difference opposite direction but distance is always length of train 1 plus length of train 2 this whether they are moving in same direction or opposite direction distance will be always length of train 1 plus length of train 2 here yeah, we'll see some question but before going for question let me tell you one more topic is attached to time and distance the topic that is boats and streams we'll see the question on based on this okay remaining thing is same like average speed same relative speed same formulas everything is same but let's see this topic as well this is also a part of time and distance boats and streams Boats and streams, you will find two new terms that is upstream and downstream. First, we will understand that. Now, let us understand there is a still water, no movement in the water, and here boat will be moving with the speed of 8 km per hour. Still water, standing water, boat is moving with the speed of 8 km per hour, going like this. Okay. Now, the direction in which boat is going, if the same direction water also starts moving, same direction water also starts moving with the speed of 2 km per hour then what will happen boat speed is 8 km per hour and the, the direction where boat is going same direction water is also moving so water will push the boat with the speed of 2 km per hour so overall boat speed will become 10 km per hour this we call it as downstream that will call it as downstream where the flow of water the same direction the boat is going okay so flow of water will support the speed of the boat that will be called as downstream now consider the boat is coming against the stream in that case what will happen boat is coming with the speed of 8 km per hour water opposite direction trying to stop the boat with the speed of obstructing the boat with the speed of 2 km per hour so overall boat speed will become instead of 8 it will become 6 km per hour which we call it as upstream so i mean to say downstream means speed of boat plus speed of water wave current any name they can give water wave current stream any name when both we add speed of boat and speed of water when we add then we get downstream speed and from speed of boat when we subtract the speed of water in that case we get upstream speed consider in the question they have given you downstream speed upstream speed both they have given and they are asking you speed of boat in still water so speed of boat in still water in still water is always equal to downstream speed plus upstream speed by 2 how about speed of water wave current speed of water wave current is always equal to downstream speed minus upstream speed by 2 this is nothing for the derivation my dear friend if you add these two if you add these two equation you will get the first one if you subtract these two equation you will get the second one so from that only these are all derived and remaining everything of time and distance only so we'll see some question over here let's see the question if a train traveling at 40 km per hour crosses another train length of 100 meter traveling at 14 km per hour in opposite direction in 30 seconds find the length of the train one train is crossing another train of 100 meters and they are moving in the opposite direction both the train speed is given 40 km per hour 14 km per hour so what will be the relative speed here relative speed will be opposite direction we should add it so it will become 54 km per hour 
Now, time in how much time it is crossing? Thirty seconds. It is crossing in thirty seconds, and they are asking you the length of another train. Okay, one train they have given. Next train they are asking. Now, here length of train means they are trying to ask you the distance. That is what we have discussed. Distance will be the length of the train. Now, here. First of all, see this is given in second. This is given in kilometer per hour. I said you unit we should make similar. So let us make this as first meter per second because one train length is given to you in meters. So this also let us convert into meter per second. Kilometer per hour to be converted into meter per second. Multiply five by eighteen. Eighteen ones are eighteen. How much is fifty four? Eighteen threes are. So you will get five threes are fifteen meter per second. You are having the speed. You are having the time. Distance, distance. What is distance here? Length of train one plus length of train two. This is the distance. Distance is always equal to speed into time. So speed is how much? Fifteen. And time is how much? Thirty. So length of train one is already given to. No, sorry. Length of train one you have to find. And length of train two is already given. How much it is given? Hundred meters. So hundred is equal to fifteen into thirty. It is four fifty. So what is length of train one? Length of train one is four fifty minus hundred. That is three fifty meters. This is the answer. This is the length of train one. Very simple. The same basic formula. Only the thing you have to understand when train is crossing a platform, what we have to do. When train is crossing another train, what we have to do. When train is crossing a standing man or signal pole, what we have to do. That is what you have to understand. Re concept is same. Formula is same. Let's see one more. A man rows his boat downstream at 18 km per hour and upstream at 10 km per hour. Find the speed of boat in still water. Just now we have discussed. We have added what I said. You speed of boat in still water is always equal to downstream speed plus upstream speed by two. So speed of downstream is how much? 18 plus upstream is how much? 10 by two. So it will come 28 by two. 28 by two, which is equal to 14 km per hour. This is the speed of boat in still water. If they ask you speed of stream, downstream speed minus upstream speed by two, eighteen minus ten by two, eight by two, which will be four kilometer per hour. Boat is moving with fourteen kilometer per hour, and water is moving with the speed of four kilometer per hour. Fourteen plus four, it becomes eighteen in downstream. Fourteen minus four, it becomes ten in upstream. Clear? Next question. A boat traveled from A to B and back to A from B. Means going and coming back in five hours. Means total time taken is five hours. If the speed of boat in still water and the speed of stream be seven point five and one point five kmph respectively, then what is the distance between A and B? They are asking you the distance between A and B. So let us understand. A to B, B to A. While going, if it is downstream, while coming, it will be upstream. Or else you can say while going, it is upstream. While coming, it will be downstream. Okay, so let's say the distance between A and B is x kilometer. So x kilometer while going, let's say it's downstream. So in downstream, what will happen? Speed of boat and speed of water will be added. Seven point five plus one point five, it will become nine. Distance by speed. This is the time taken to go. Coming back, same x kilometer. B to A, same x kilometer. But this case, it will be upstream. So upstream, we have to subtract the speed. Seven point five minus one point five, it will be six. Distance by speed, time taken to come back, going and coming. Total time taken is five hours. That's it. You have to find the x value. X means the distance. Now nine and six LCM. If I am not wrong, it is eighteen. Nine two is eighteen, so this becomes two x plus six three is eighteen, so this becomes three x is equal to five. So two x plus three x that is five x by eighteen is equal to five. Five five get cancelled. X is equal to eighteen. What is x? The distance between A and B that is eighteen kilometer. If the concept is clear, my dear friend, you can easily sort it out. This was your topic, time and distance, and the attached topic of time and distance, the boats and streams, and problems on trains. Practice more number of question to get more confidence on this topic. Thank you all. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.